What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. Today we're gonna talk about a spring summer essential that is kind of undergoing a big revival moment and that's the polo shirt. Whether we're talking classic, more slim fitted, tailored, or more streetwear where we're having a big polo shirt moment right now, there's a bunch of different styles and different details that you can look out for when shopping for polos. So I thought I'd do a little video on that, on the different styles of polo shirts for men. With that said, let's get started. First one I got for you, simple, straightforward, a Zara Navy Classic polo shirt. Now this is a size medium and honestly I just recently ordered this. The Zara haul is going live on Saturday so if you guys don't want to miss that subscribe right now. But in that video I also say that this is a bit small on me just minimally but it's a classic fit. Nicely accentuates the shoulders. The buttons I tend to unbutton on a classic polo shirt all the way buttoned up quickly becomes a bit too stuck up I think. But it's a classic simple piece that I wanted to start with. Don't want to spend too much time on that since that's a classic one that you probably know. Let's get into some variants like replacing the buttons with a zipper. This one is from H&M and this fits phenomenally. Nice and slim fitted, accentuating the body really well. Gorgeous color here in the oatmeal. Another fairly classic option, but the zipper just makes it look a bit more modern. Next up from Abercrombie, a similar style, but here we don't have any buttons on the collar, which makes for a bit more of a vintage vibe. That's honestly not one of my favorite styles in polo shirts, but for something like this with the retro, design and then a bit more of a boxier fit, a bit more relaxed. I wear this to the beach. That works for me um, in this case in particular. Now we're moving on to what probably is my favorite style of polo shirts right now. These are button down polo shirts. So it's a polo shirt, same fabric, nice knitted, but then you can button it all the way down. This one's from Abercrombie. I love wearing these unbuttoned with a tank top underneath. That's for me like my essential spring summer look just because you get a bit of layering, you get comfort and you get a good amount of style in there. Here we have a gray base color with some tan flowers knitted in there. Beautiful. These are honestly incredible. I've been wearing um, these from Abercrombie for a year now and I absolutely love them. Here we have a similar option from Abercrombie, just a different design. Wanted to show you what that looks like. Here we got a base tan, then some cream and some, you know, like a rusted red in there with the geometric design, if you will. Just another option for you guys. Now in terms of fabrication, you can also go for something a bit more fun, a bit more out there, like this mesh knit polo from Zara. Nice tan color, classic fit, couple of buttons up top, so a very classic polo, but what makes this a bit more modern, a bit more stand out, is the mesh fabric. You're showing off a little bit of the nips underneath, so if you're uncomfortable with that, like, don't worry, this is something I would wear by the beach, for the beach, in the, you know, that whole realm. Probably not walking down the street, unless um, I wore either a tank top underneath, which might look a bit messy, or a jacket up top, just to cover up my private bits. <laughs> So I alluded to this in the beginning, street style is definitely taken on a big part of men's fashion. So something more relaxed like this option from H&M could be a great way to go for you if you're trying to embrace the more relaxed, bit more loose fitting style that's really trending right now. I really like this piece. It's yes, a bit more boxy, yes, a bit more relaxed, but not crazy, it's, it's not ultra baggy. It's just a bit more relaxed and I think, you know, something simple, this is a classic polo otherwise, a PK knit polo in this like faded gray brown color and Simple buttons, that's it. Straightforward, but you can have a bit more fun with the fit of it. And then last but not least, technically this is a collared zip up t-shirt with pockets. But I'm including it in this video because I think it's a variation of the polo shirt in a way. So we got a off-white t-shirt that's elongated, oversized, the sleeves are really long, and then we got these two pockets down here. I love pockets, I think these are a nice design detail with the zipper up top and then the collar. The primary difference between a t-shirt and the uh, polo shirt is the fabric itself. So this is a jersey knit, which technically puts it in a t-shirt category. We don't care about that. This is definitely a little bit more on the street style side just because it's so oversized. It's from ASOS, but I actually really, really like this piece. It's simple, like I said, we're talking about a key essential piece here in the spring summer wardrobe. So I think this is a fun way to experiment with it, especially if you're going from the streetwear aesthetic and you wanna incorporate some things that don't usually work for your style, like a polo shirt, this would be a great way to do that. Moving on to long sleeves. Yes, this was just the short sleeve section of the video and with the long sleeves, we're getting a lot more into streetwear. Here we have another piece from Abercrombie. Very simple, very basic, a bit more relaxed, but a gorgeous, gorgeous spring summer essential to have in your wardrobe. It's slightly off white, so it's not this pure white that's kind of like clinical and hard to wear sometimes. This is absolutely amazing. The cotton feels super, super soft and I really really like the fit of this. It is once again, slim, but a bit more relaxed. 
and I think this is just a great piece to have in your closet to experiment with if you're new to polos or if you want to incorporate polos into more loose fitting outfits. Now this piece is from Zara. It's a long sleeve knitted polo sweater, I'm gonna call it, because it is fairly thick, but then we have the classic polo buttons up here, three of them, and then a really nice flat laying collar. On the back we have a colorful graphic printed on here, which I think is awesome, because a polo, and it's very like, the image that comes to my head with a polo can be fairly bland. But you can have fun with it, especially with something like this. It's nice and fitted, so it's not really all that street wear-y. This might also be a tiny bit short on me if you check out the sleeves. They're just very, like, I feel like another inch would be nice, so I might be sizing up in this to make this a bit more street wear appropriate. But I think this is a dope piece, a gorgeous color, and shows a nice variety of where you can go with your polo shirts. Now the next four pieces I'm going to be talking about are rugby shirts. Rugby shirts are polo shirts that are basically a sweatshirt down here. So thick, robust, a bit more stiff the material. And then we have that polo collar. This piece is from Abercrombie and I think it's gorgeous. A simple gray body and then that contrast white collar makes it really interesting, makes it really retro. Rugby shirts often have a team logo or something on the chest or on the back. I like the simple design of this one. I love the fit. It's definitely oversized. This is a size medium and for a size medium it fits fairly large with the dropped shoulder right here but I think this is a dope piece. Comparing that to what I'm wearing right now, this is from Orla Bar Brown, significantly more expensive than what we just looked at, but I still wanted to include it in this video because I think it's very similar to what we just saw, but then it's a bit more upscale. So what does that mean? Not just because it's more expensive, no, just because the fit is a bit more slim throughout the arms, throughout the body. Then we got a couple design details that I think make this a bit more elevated rather than street. We got buttons here, we've got a chest pocket, and then we have a monotone collar. Same fabric, same color as the rest of the sweatshirt, which makes this really straightforward and simple. I absolutely love this. This was part of a sweat set, so there's matching sweatpants that come with this that I was wearing when I was in my Vespa accident. Doing well, thank you for asking. And it's, uh, you know, the pants are now ruined because obviously like, my knee got punctured and it's all ripped apart, but I still love the sweatshirt, so I wanted to include it for today. Next up, we've got from Fear of God Essentials. I ordered this off of uh, Mr. Porter, another variant of the rugby shirt, basically what I'm wearing now, nice and monotone. We got a little graphic on the left chest and it's just very relaxed. It's a lot more relaxed, it's Fear of God, it's streetwear, and it's the Essentials line, so it's actually not crazy expensive for the fact that it's a Fear of God piece. On the back, we have a small detail just with the logo, but otherwise a gorgeous tan color. Great way to be wearing this in a streetwear way uh, is to once again turn this into a sweat suit, which Fear of God Essentials makes the sweatpants, but they were sold out so I can't really show you unfortunately, but I really like this piece. And then lastly, I showed you a lot of like monochrome things, some, you know, not super out there, but obviously you can have more fun with it like this last piece from ASOS. It's a rugby shirt once again, this time we have a zip collar on that to show you that that's also a possible combination. And then we've got these really wide stripes. That's actually a fairly classic way for a rugby shirt. We've got these, yeah, just, you know, very thick horizontal lines. On the back, it's kept simple, which I honestly think, I think I would have preferred to have the stripes go all the way around, but it's still a fun piece. We got this orangey cognac color, then the tan color, and here we actually don't have a uh, drawstring hem at the bottom, so this Looks a little bit different once it's on the body just because it flows a little differently, but I think another nice piece if you're looking for a polo shirt. And that's it for today. I hope you guys like this video going through the different styles and details that you can have in your polo shirts. Now I wanna make a video styling some of these, either specifically these or just polo shirts in general. And I'd love to hear from you if you wanna see more of the streetwear side or the classic side of the polo shirt styled or both. So leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video so I know that you did and I can shoot more of the same kind and I'll see you guys very soon with the next one. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye guys.